Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. So we are here under advssoftengcom chart director. Now, I've been playing around with this software, been looking at the source code. Uh, it's quite good actually for the price of 150. I've talked about in my previous uh, videos. Uh, I just want to show you a particular useful thing that you may want to check out. So if you're looking for the C++ of my case, uh, let's say on Mac OS 10, um, here you could use the HTML for non-Microsoft Windows and uh, check it out. So this is what I wanted to um, show you, uh, is when you download it, uh, let me just find it and okay. so. What we have here is the documentation, which is obviously HTML. And what we're gonna do is I wanted to show you a list of all the useful um, charts that I think that could be pretty good in helping out um, understanding that it would be useful for, for trading. Um, and a lot of it is with the mindset of Deltix who's used, who's got some amazing chart charting capabilities. But if you, let's say, go under bar charts, pair toe, if I've got that right. So we've got um, pie charts, did I say pie charts, bar charts? Um, one of these, X, there you go, X, Y charts. So let's say with a pair toe, if I got that pronunciation right. These kind of things where you may have a histogram combined with a um, plot. This is not the exact, because it's cumulative of the totals um, on your, in your histogram. But uh, some other useful charts might be something like under line charts. Um, let's say uh, simp step line. Where are we talking here? Step line. There we go. This could be useful if you followed my Deltix video for uh, the price, like bid and order, uh, to watch that. Um, this is probably how, where you get that kind of charting from. Line comparison. Again, if you wanted to apply. Um, some kind of boundary on the line. Uh, we also have got binary data services, sorry, binary data series this is a cool one. Um, this one could be useful for uh, a couple things. As you can see, there's a price movement, so we could see, um, you know, different conditions. Um, for let's say down or up. And this could also be useful for algorithmic uh, strategies as well. So what else we've got here? Trend, trend line. Okay, this is pretty obvious, I think. Trend line, that's uh, no guff there. The thing is, um, one of the things I would find useful for these type of charts is uh, basically technical analysis. The only technical analysis that I've seen that's widely used from the professional insiders is basically trend line and uh, moving average. So that's good enough there. Scatter trend chart. Um, I've seen this multiple times, obviously, for different uh, data points. Uh, we've got confidence band. Again, this is no different than if it was um, the availability of um, Bollinger, and then you have some statistical info here as well, which is good. And we get into scatter plots right here, scatter charts, eh. area line chart. Area line chart, like this one. Again, you can see some usefulness with that. Um, 
floating effects with a waterfall. Let's see what we got here. You can see how these are really uh, useful. Positive, negative, the very last one here. Uh, maybe similar to a, a uh, candlestick, but you actually can put the actual pricing movements uh, or changes in there. I think somewhere else you may find some good ones. Uh, other XY chart features. I guess this one. Of course, you've got the finance chart, which we've shown before in other videos. Uh, there's no surprises there. These are charts that would be outside of the typical finance chart. Um, marks and zones would be good. Um, we've got, uh, oh, sorry, no, not that one, the second one. So you could say maybe this could be potential profitable, or in this case, obviously red or yellow for different uh, pricing conditions. X zone coloring, again, same idea. Uh, dual X axis. So there you go, that's gonna be pretty useful. Uh, data table, these would be good. Again, where you have your, um, not only your chart movement, but you also have your pricing as well, which could be useful. There's a second one as well. But this change here I like. Programmable track cursor. Now I need to stress here, a lot of these I've not seen before, these type of, types of charts, but they could be very useful for uh, a trading system, which gives it a, a unique uh, perspective in charting. Programmable. So uh, I'm not sure if people have seen the potential of the gauges, which would be very, very useful. If you follow me in Simulink, uh, these would be useful for futures trading to measure things like basis or some kind of tolerance. You can have, uh, have that done in real time maybe. I don't know, these are just ideas. So now we're looking for programmable track, okay, track. track line. So you got track line, track line with data labels. Do I have, no, I've got the wrong one. This is what I'm looking for here. So we got programmable track line with data tables, that's not bad. Um, and then of course you've got the um, values right within the price lines. We also got track line with axis, X axis, with axis labels. So there you go, that could be good. I believe if you put your cursor right here, that will give you this effect and highlight it. Uh, we also got track box with floating legend. Mm, that could be good. Uh, crosshair with axis labels. X with axis labels. So again, same idea. Gives you the values. Okay, so we have zoomable and scrollable charts. So in case you're new to all this, we are using QT, not MFC, which is Windows Microsoft Foundations class. So usually um, we want to use all of them, but uh, there's a good uh, highlight one. Zooming and scrolling with viewport view. I've not shown this before. So you can see where we have um, the ability to show, um, I guess in this viewport, and still have the same effects as I've shown before. Zoom in, zoom out, and all that. So 
that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's pretty well it. Um, oh, and then also, of course, we got the real-time uh, charts as well, which is very, very, very useful. Uh, obviously, the financial and all that. Uh, one thing that I should highlight here, uh, about uh, real-time charts. Okay, so basically what it's doing, it is just redrawing everything periodically. Uh, and then there's some verbiage here about it. So it's pretty straightforward. But one other thing that I did like is um, once the, I guess the buffer gets filled, it will automatically shift um, the chart for you. Um, it's all explained in here as well. So some really good benefits. So overall, um, for those that may not know, the pricing on Chart Director is very good. I've shown just in the last uh, uh, week or so uh, the libraries for for um, the AM charts, which start at two hundred and forty, I believe, and then went up to like a thousand for where you can distribute it with uh, a login. And then it went up to 1800 and then you get the high charts and high stocks. That's, you know, again, a thousand plus when I think included 1800. But here, um, you have a very reasonable price. So here you could just use a chart director developer license and that's all you really need. And um, the redistributable if I wanted to distribute this the platform with the charting, um, I think it'd be just somewhere in here, 149. So it's pretty cheap. Okay, so that's pretty well it, and I'm kind of glad I found this. I had known about this for a while, but uh, this is a good, good, really good package uh, for what you get and the value of it. And uh, just before I forget, you can see all the different bindings they include, .NET, Java, the web languages, even Perl, Python, Ruby. Cool thing about C++ version, you can now also include FreeBSD, which is pretty good. All right, so that's pretty well it, and hopefully uh, you took away some knowledge from this. Otherwise, have a good day.